Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Kiyato here, and welcome to my MA slash uh, Ami Ami haul. But uh, yeah, it's been a while since I last uh, posted or even recorded a video for YouTube. But yeah, hopefully you all are doing well. The year is now 2023, so uh, new year, new resolution, new goals to reach. But uh, yeah, these past few months for me personally, it's been pretty hectic. Uh, a lot of new changes, especially career-wise and everything. So. Yeah, just been uh, very busy on the side. I can definitely say that I'm a lot more happier in the position I am now than before. So uh, I'm doing well for myself and hopefully you guys are doing well as well, even though I probably already asked that. But anyways, getting started into this haul, I did get a lot of cool stuff over the past months, especially during uh, the holiday seasons, especially on rightstuff.com. But uh, yeah, I uh, got some mangas that I picked up, uh, not a lot. Unfortunately, but once I kind of needed to add to my collection. So of course I got two volumes of my dress of darling volume uh, 5 and volume 6 So I think I'm caught up or actually I don't think I order, uh, ordered the uh, other volumes yet because they're on pre-order and uh, I got these ones on sale on right stuff and Four volumes of grand blue dreaming. So this is volume 14 15 16 and uh, 17 so like I said about my dress up darling I think I'm caught up but I think I just didn't buy any of the pre-orders yet because these were also discount on rice stuff during the holiday sale so uh, you know usually I don't pick up manga as often anymore just due to uh, spacing in my household but uh, yeah I mean these ones I really do enjoy a lot so definitely check these mangas out if you guys haven't do, done so especially grand blue dreaming i think this is a low a low key uh, underrated series that's not talked about a lot so that's just my opinion though so next up i actually picked some uh, miscellaneous things i got some stuff from cd japan as well as uh, small orders from ami ami but the stuff from cd japan i picked up uh the album for creepy nuts for their opening or i think this is either the opening or ending for uh Calling of Night, so I actually don't remember, but this I actually do like the artwork a lot in the front. Uh, the back's not something you could write home about, but I honestly think this is uh, really cool to uh, collect. So got that. I got this. <laughs> I got this Auto Master one as well from Sea Japan, along with uh, this little bonus that they gave me, which I don't know if it's a sticker or not, but uh, I picked this up because it had Akira on the front and uh. Kanade and Kaide, or Kaide and Kanade, so and Frederica. So there's a lot of characters on this album cover that I like a lot, and I actually do enjoy the song a lot since I, of course, play Idol Master uh, on my phone a lot. So there's that. Uh, of course, nothing on the back as much, but the front I really think it's cool. So that uh, this one I actually got off of eBay, which I just remembered, and it is an album from an old series that you all probably don't like know about or remember but high school of the dead so this one i did not know that they had like a cd album cover i mean of course they do every anime has one but i thought i personally got or i got this one personally just because on the front which she's one of the main characters i forgot her name in high school of the dead but this album it, there's like a little drop so you can actually have the full body of her so on the back it's kind of like oh, <laughs> a little drop so it I will say it's really cool. I do want to open this to check it out myself because I've seen pictures of it on eBay and uh, yeah, I thought it was something really cool and you know, I just had to get my hands on it. But that and the last one with, or last CD that I picked up, this one's probably going to be the un most unique one because this is something I was just like wowed by when I first got it and that is a uh, Special CD album of Chainsaw Man from Kenshi Yonezu. So this one's really cool because if you guys can see inside there's like little chains on this on, Like wrapping around so Really awesome and of course on the back you kind of got like a little booklet right there um, This is really amazing because honestly I never see uh, seen a CD album like this So I do eventually want to do like an unboxing of this just to show uh, off and just like see personally because I did not know what I was anticipating when uh, I ordered this but uh, 
honestly really awesome again I think this was around $35 so it was pretty pricey but I think it was well worth it and some of the miscellaneous things I also picked up just really quickly is uh, this acrylic from Calling of the Night which is probably the most out of the ordinary for my anime hauls but I had to get this because uh, you know I think waifu of the season for me and of course my usual I got Nino from Quotes Essential Quintuplet of course so yeah those were probably the most or the two miscellaneous things I just picked up for this uh, whole video all right next are my anime pickups which is funny to say because I normally don't do anime pickups as much or at least like the blu-rays and the dvds but uh, I tend to do this every end of the year because of course right, right stuff sale so I take advantage of that but Funny enough, majority of these were uh, majority of these ones were mostly from uh, Sentai Filmworks. So of course, I pick up my teen comedy snafu or Yahari Orino session. So this is the complete uh, first and second season, which I find it funny because of course there's a third season, but you know it's not included with this one. So unfortunately, I picked up Amagi and Amagi S S. I think it's called SS Plus. Oh, so Amagi SS and Double S Plus. So this is the complete collection. I think this was really cheap. I think this was like $12. So keep in mind, a lot of these animes that I picked up were really cheap. Like, the, like these ones were dirt cheap. Like Kokoro Connect, which I remember watching back in high school. <laughs> so this was like $5, $7. And of course, Girls and Panzer, like $5 each. So like... I really took advantage of the Sentai Filmworks, which, um, rule of thumb, if you guys ever do start an anime uh, collection and want to pick up some Blu-rays, I would recommend waiting until December, November for right stuff in uh, Sentai Filmworks. Like, you'll get really good uh, deals that goes on, but yeah, I got those. Of course, I picked up second season of Quintessential Quintuplet, and the box is a little beat up, unfortunately, so that's the only crappy thing about this. You can. I think you could t have a better uh, telling from here, but uh, luckily enough, the CD is not messed up or anything. Like it's still in the shrink wrap, so fingers crossed it is not completely damaged inside. Hopefully, but uh, that I picked up Pro Mayor. This is the collector's edition, I believe it is. Yeah, limited edition collector's edition, which comes with the art book, uh, English script, some decal posters, and a CD soundtrack. So. Um, got this for, like I said, really totally, really good price. I think it was like 30 bucks or so. But this one, this one was probably the priciest of them all, but retail price wise, normally it's like double the amount than what I would have spent. And that is the Collector's Edition, or the Collector's Ultra Edition, as it says around the side, a Gundam Seed. So, got a here in the front and then you got Aether in the back so <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I really wish I could have got my hands on a Gundam wing but I think that's discontinued now for their ultra edition but I mean Gundam Seed comes in a close second and this was definitely one of my childhood uh, uh, animes back then or at least like I guess Gundam slash romance so this actually holds a place in my heart of uh, just like owning just like probably be watching but uh <laughs> yeah, I think this was about $100 or so. Uh, normally on right stuff, it's like $230, $240, which is insane for how much it would cost. But $100, I mean, I couldn't like ignore that at all, so I decided to pick this one up. Alright, next are the figurines, or maybe not figurines, but more so nendroids. Picked up a few nendroids, which I need to stop myself at this point because I just have way too many nendroids, but I couldn't skip these ones. Which I will always say to every ninja I buy. But this one, especially, I couldn't skip. Mikoto, Misaka, one of my favorite Sunzuri characters from uh, Certain Magical Index. And uh, yeah, this is from the Dai Hase Festival, which, funny enough, I think this is her first true variant version because she has a normal one um, and then the real gun with her sister's one. But this is her, I guess, only alternative one that I've ever seen. So. I uh, got that, and of course I got Hollow Life, which I'm pretty sure you all are so excited for because uh, 
I feel like everyone at this point loves Hollow Life. Like, I like it, but I'm not too addicted like some people that I've seen. But yeah, I picked up uh, Hosho Marine as well as Yusada Pekoro or Pekora. So, got these Nandroids. And I'm actually, I think my favorite one that I picked up is definitely Marine Hosho. I actually like Marine a lot. Sometimes I tune into her streams uh, to watch and you know, I just love the character design, the personality. But I like the character design of Pekoro as well. So, yeah, so those are my uh, Nandroid pickups. Alright, so getting into the final part of the haul, of course, is uh, Ami Ami. Uh, unboxing, which I quite literally have it right here. So, I already know what's in here, or at least I know one of the items that's in here. The rest I kind of usually tend to forget because, let's be real, it's usually uh, quintessential quintuplet, Nino. Alright, so you guys will be quite surprised of what's going to be in this box because there's one particular item that I knew, I know what I ordered, and uh, it's a series that Probably one of my favorite action series of all time. I actually picked up more of Calling the Night acrylics, so picked up these right here, which you can get a better view of. Man, I need to stop with the, these acrylics. Oh wow, I forgot to order this actually. <laughs> so this one, which I could just open it up for you guys because I'm actually planning on changing my uh, mouse pad. But this is a uh, pretty much a new mouse pad that I am switching over because my Final Fantasy one is uh, pretty old and pretty stainy. Ayasaka from Love Is War, Kaguya Sama. So. Best girl in Love Is War, personally. I know everyone loves Kaguya, but Let's be real, the best girl is Hayasaka. Alright, and uh, I think this is the last item in here, but I'm gonna put the box down. Alright, so this one is, I guess, a very well kept secret, but once I open it up, this is uh, honestly one of the coolest things I probably ordered uh, from Ami Ami because. This I don't see too regularly, and uh, this I really do want to kind of display in my room. So, i open this up. Oh! Take a look at that. Remy from Black Lagoon. Like, that is so sick. Just uh, take this off for now. But that is so cool. Like the frame, everything, just a picture. The best part about this is like you kind of see like the little gold plate on the bottom that says Revly, uh, Revy right there. So, like Lagoon. This is such a sick artwork right here. It should be strings, but I did not see any string. Oh, never mind. I see a string, so strings in the bag to actually be able to properly hang this up. But yikes, this is so cool. Like, just let's just take a look again at this. All right, so that was pretty much it for my anime slash ami ami haul. I hope you guys did enjoy it, all the cool stuff that I showcased in this video. And if you guys did, if you guys could leave a like, I greatly appreciate it. Or leave a comment. What do you think the coolest thing I got was? But uh. Yeah, honestly, like, I'm sorry, I'm just fanboying over this, like, little, literally, like, literal frame just of Revy, and, like, uh, once I move out, I'm definitely gonna hang this. Don't know where, actually. Like, I don't know where I would hang this, but, yeah, a lot of cool stuff during this, um, past few months that I got, and, uh, didn't spend too much money where I was broke. I mean, like I said, I knew some new changes in my life were a lot better with my income and more stable now but uh anyways yeah that's pretty much it of today's video um honestly 2023 big year hopefully whatever goals that you have i hope you guys be able to reach it and uh yeah if you guys are wondering about my video games i'm actually gonna do a separate video show like doing my video game hauls through the months because uh not quite a lot i've been pretty much on a roll with video game collection lately but uh, anyways, uh, this is Kyoto signing off. 
uh, hope you all the best of wish uh, whatever goals you have and uh, also great health so anyways hope to see you guys in my next video and uh, take care of yourselves peace